Hey Aries, welcome to July. So we are going to look at the main theme for the month. We are going to look at where you should be focusing your energy, what challenges might arise, um, what it is you need to release. And the challenges and what we need to release are important this month because of the Mercury retrograde that's coming. We're going to look at money and career because that's what um, you guys voted on Facebook and said, this is what's most important to us this month to look at. And then we're going to look at your love life for singles couples, and then undefined relationships. And undefined relationships are relationships that are either um, not Facebook official, maybe you just started dating, you haven't put a label on it, maybe you're polyamorous, or maybe it's on again, off again, okay? So here we go. Aries, your main theme for the month is possibility. You don't know what the future holds. Um, but it could hold something amazing should you believe that, okay? So stay optimistic the most that you can. Your energy should be focused on um, really trying to contain any negative or harsh energy you have. Um, try not to lash out at people, to um, tell them off, trying not to be, you know, bitchy or whatever. And I know that seems obvious, right? But there just might be some sort of inclination to kind of go that route this month, which is why they bring it up. Um, challenges that you could be facing this month are to be very generous with your time, with your energy, with your love. Um, the more that you give out, the more you'll get back. So just keep that in mind. What is it you need to release this month? And they say, absolutely, it's your defensiveness. Um, and so it might be an idea that you're defending. Maybe somebody criticizes you and you throw up walls. Maybe you're trying to, maybe you're um, starting a new relationship and so you throw up walls in order to prevent somebody from hurting you. But we really need to be as open and honest with ourselves and with other people as possible. Now, I know a lot of tarot readers don't talk about legal matters and things like that, but um, I'm getting a strong message here that if you have like some sort of legal proceeding coming up, um, whether you are accused of something or not, it doesn't matter. The point is that you really need to be super, super honest. If you're not honest in that, and this might only apply to like one person watching this video, but um, you're going to get found out and then basically any honest testimony that you give um, will not really be counted or taken into consideration. So just a warning. <laughs> um, anything else that you guys need to know as far as challenges go? They say that it's going to be really hard for you to make decisions that benefit you. You might be feeling impulsive. Um, you might be kind of taking the easy road this month. And so they're saying... Um, you know, when in doubt, if you should do something this month, if you're like, ah, I don't know, I kind of want to, but like, I don't know. They're like, when in doubt, maybe give yourself time and don't do it. Because we want to, stri we want to um, stay away from that impulsivity because for whatever reason this month, it just might not play out to your advantage. They're saying it's not going to give you the happiness that it used to or the happiness that you would expect it to. Um, but like there's no way for you to really know that unless you try it. So, I mean, maybe try that once the first time and then remember this video and go, oh, shit, that's what she said. Yeah, okay. The rest of the month I'm going to be a little more aware. Um, when it comes to your money and your career this month, they're saying at the end of the day, you and your employer – or you and your clients, like you all are on the same page for what you want, but have different ideas on how to approach getting there. Um, and so there could be like a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of bickering and arguing, which is natural in a Mercury retrograde. They're saying um, you might kind of feel like you just don't want to, like you don't want to put work in, you don't want to put effort in, like you just want to do everything the easy way. And so um, the best way for you to acquire more wealth, or to have um, you know, better luck in your career and stuff for this current month is actually to focus on the end result and not engage in the sort of battles on how or when to um, achieve certain outcomes, just focusing on that end goal. Because then other people will naturally come to you and look to you for guidance, as opposed to if you were to just give it, um, they will take it with a grain of salt and maybe fight you on it a little bit, okay? So, um, so it's kind of like, you know, wait for somebody to like you're, let's say you have a boss, okay, and you don't own your own business, wait for them to come and say, hey, you know, where would you like your career to head? And then you can tell them and then they can grant that wish instead of you going into their office and saying, hey, 
I really want this promotion. It comes off a little bit, um, you know, icky. Okay. Now, if you are a single Aries, what's up for your love life? And they're saying um, either people are lying to you or they're just not talking to you as much as usual this month. And they're saying, and this might seem really challenging for you. And it's something that you're not really sure that you want to deal with 100%. They're saying you should still feel confident about getting out there, trying to meet people. This is not about you. It's about them. And um, remember your own worth. Like just because somebody else is kind of a shithead, just because somebody else um, lies to you, it's not because you don't have value or because they think you're stupid, even though it can feel that way. Um, it's just because they're a shithead. Because they're a liar. Um, also, if people aren't talking to you, it might be because they're intimidated by you. There was one other sign that had that too. I don't know if it was Virgos maybe. So if you have Virgo in your chart, this would be especially true. Um, that they just might not know how to approach you or they're afraid of rejection. But that doesn't mean you should stop shining your light, you know. Um, so overall, they're saying you might have mixed feelings about how like dating life goes in the month of July. But, you know, perhaps August or September will be different. It's not like anything's bad here. It just might not be your most successful month. And I want to be honest about that. So for those of you who are coupled, what they're saying is you're going to get out of your relationship what you put into it. And this is kind of the theme for almost every single sign this month. Um, you're going to get back from your relationship what you put into it. So, I mean, if you want a partner who... Um, is very physically affectionate. Give them a lot of physical affection. If you want a partner who tells you you're beautiful all the time, tell them they're beautiful or handsome all the time. Like it's it's pretty simple. Um, for those of you in undefined relationships, what they're saying is you should be feeling very very confident. Um, you're kind of like radiating this super sexy like I've got my shit together, like I know what I want sort of vibe that's super appealing. Um, they're saying there's really nothing to worry about in these situations. They're saying as long as you are super focused on what it is that you desire from these relationships, you'll probably get it. They're saying, um, you know, some of you might have a few walls up and kind of like where we started with this reading. And if you're not receiving tons of affectionate um, communication by these people that you're dealing with, that's the reason why. They don't feel safe. Um, to give you what it is that you're actually desiring. You're sort of blocking it or pushing it away. And so, um, you know, if your response every time that somebody texts you like, hey, beautiful, um, and you're like, oh, you're that, <laughs> or you're like, you know, like if you reject compliments, you're like, oh, I don't feel that beautiful today, um, then they're not going to feel safe to continue to give you that loving communication. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of a stupid example, but you get what I mean. If you really want loving communication, then you need to receive that very well and not resist it at all. Um, not question what they're saying. Oh, you don't really think I'm cute. You know, that that's not helping the case. They're saying in the month of July and undefined relationships, you really, really, really want to put yourself first and then communicate how you intend to do that. Like what it is you desire and expect from relationships in a very kind and compassionate way. If anything's making you unhappy in these situations, um, you want to express that because it's likely that your partner will either shift the way that they're doing things or you'll just realize it, they're not for you. But you should feel very, very confident for the most part. Um, most of uh, uh, Aries, I'm sorry if I said Aquarius, Aries in um, the month of July. So I look forward to talking to you in August and see you then. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!